Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. This episode is called Space Station J. Jones and the reason for that is J. Jones is the person that developed or designed all the all the cities in Forever Stranded. So let's have a quick look what I'm talking about. There we go. I've built a space station. I've not launched it yet. So the first thing to do is to scan this and then build it. Now, it's a little bit bigger than it should be. I believe, according to the um, documentation, we're allowed 22 by 22, but this is 23 by 23. So let's have a quick look inside. So I've got a door here. If I can get in those. Sometimes it's harder than it looks. Right, there we go. So I've got this redstone activator on me, so I can click that, get in easier than pressing the button. And go up. And here we've got basically things that which have been set up. So there's the the warp core. Here's a workstation and a chest and a bed. And here's the controller, warp controller, altitude, gravity, and orientation controller, and some machines up here up here. So I've got a temperature regulator, uh, a vibrant capacitor bank, a wireless charger, and two O2 scrubbers, and an oxygen vent in the middle. Hopefully it'll be alright there. I've blocked off the bottom vents and underneath here I've got a uh, another star generator mark one oops probably should right click that with this then you can see I've got plenty of power in here and then on the top floor let's go into here I've got another door which I can actually open with the, with the button of course like this and it's got a platform out here to do some more things so let's get this scanned first of all. So we scan it. And in here I've got a satellite bait and a station ID chip unprogrammed. Nothing here. Well, that's weird. I know it is scanning it. Look, it, it's, slightly, it's slightly wrong, but I think it works. Anyway, we'll see. Let's leave that. It takes a long time. It actually uses quite a lot of power. So this was a full capacitor bank at three and a half million RF, and it's going out at 100 RF per tick. So it's, plenty, it's not using that much power. But one thing I wanted to show you at the end of the, or well, in, in the last previous episode, I said I'm getting no mobs around here, and the reason for that is I haven't shown you. But there's a mod in this pack called Torchmaster. So let's have a look at what we can do with Torchmaster. In fact, what if I do it like this? We should see there's three items in this. So there's a mega torch, a train lighter, and a dread lamp. In fact, if I move myself. No, you can't see it very well. What the dread lamp does, it, it prevents passive mob spawning in a. 64 radius i think is it so probably 128 blocks and this one prevents mob spawning the mega torch so let's make one of these two blocks of gold three blaze rods one nether star one gas tier and two bits of wood which is not too difficult these days very useful piece of equipment and over here i haven't got one installed so let's go and do that i've been to space and i've got a feeling uh, since I've been in space, my angel wings are flying much slower, but I'm not 100% sure. It seems to be ridiculously slow at the moment. And you can see here some mobs on the left-hand side as I approach this. Probably a bad time to do this at night, isn't it? Let's just take this and put the torch down. So with a bit of luck, we should be able to put this torch down here like this. That's it. And that'll stop some mobs spawning from there for another 64. And I'll move that to that end place. It acts like a torch as well. And I've got those all around the base. And the four corners outside, at the corners of the lights. Now what else can we do? 
Exhedra asked me about what do you get out of the quantum quarry. So let's go and have a quick look at that. Those mobs are following me. But I am going very slowly, so maybe they do catch me up. So the quantum quarry is actually over here. So let's go this way and then the mobs will go into the into the moat. I do feel this flight is much slower than it used to be. So if you look in here, I've got a, a filter on here. So, and if I do click show, this is an existing item filter. If I click show, basically I'm filtering, I'm letting all of these things go through. So you're getting dirt, coal, redstone clay in fact what i've got is here's i've got a chest with everything in it so that you're getting just 32 each so dirt silver ore lead ore different ores including the lithium ore um, uranium ore two different types bauxite which is which is uh, aluminium lead of course quarried stone hardened stone marble limestone and in here we've got everything else so as you can see, we're getting diamonds, gold ore, plenty of gold ore. We're actually getting some flowers as well. So we're getting dandelions, poppies, different colored tulips, azure bullet, allium, what are we getting here? Peony, peony, and some mushrooms, and different types of seeds as well, including some red red orchids and some ender lily seeds. And we're also getting quite a lot of rutile ore. Now rutile ore, the usage of that is basically titanium dust and if you put it in the crusher you get two and you get two for both crushers whether you're using the the actual editions one or the um the one i'm using is the immersive engineering one and you get two in the arc furnace as well that probably takes a while so you're getting quite a lot of different types of things in here as you can see and it's coming in reasonably fast and I have, yes, I do have here a dimensional transceiver putting power into that. Now let's go and have a look. Is this finished scanning yet? And I've got three rockets prepared. This is the mining one, which we did in the previous episode of rocketry. And this is the one to launch a satellite. And here's the one for me with a seat on it. So that looks like it's finished scanning. It's ready. Before I'm going to do that, what I'm going to do is a quick backup because it, this is um, sort of it's a beta mod, and I'm not completely guaranteed that it's going to work. So let's do a quick backup. So we'll just do backup, and we'll take full, and hit return. So I've started the backup, and I'm going to wait for that to finish, and I should get another message. Now on here, how much few, how much power have we used to do this? So just over five hundred thousand RF. Which is okay. I'm curious to see whether that was getting charged up right now. The backup's done, so let's now build this, and this will take some time as well. Ready. So now it's building, so it looks like it's going to work. If that works, we'll launch it into space, and we we'll first of all make a chip out of that. But that's going to take a while to do as well. You see, the progress is very slow. I've got a bit of a cold today. Excuse me. Or a husky voice probably means I'm getting a cold. So for th for that, I actually needed quite a lot of concrete, and the way I was making concrete was in the immersive engineering engineering assembler. This thing. In fact, you see, I've got a recipe set up here to use the immersion of engineering slag. That's one use of it that you can use. The other recipe for concrete. Let's have a look at that. is this one so we need one sand one gravel and one bucket of water let's get those out of um oh that worked oh, i didn't expect that to work oh but it's not working in here that's a shame maybe i have to put it in manually oh it filled up some fresh water into a thing oh that's interesting 
let's just try that again and actually get the ingredients out might not work in this one of course because it's similar to, might not know about that recipe so what do I want I want one sand one gravel and one bucket of water so I need a bucket might have to make some more let's get the water out of there let's try that again so we put I think it was this way around I oh, know I don't do things hold on a second oh that just clears the recipe all right we'll do it like this one bucket what did I get piles of gravel so that recipe doesn't actually work never mind but one problem I was trying to get to figure out was how do I get two fluids into this thing? And the way I've done it basically is I've got one fluid coming in here, which is where the input for the fluid is. And here I've just put a second tank with some water in it feeding into this. So it actually could connect two, two or three pipes up in here feeding different fluids and then it would work. Right, let's see if this thing is built. Well, it looks like it hasn't built yet because if it has built it should disappear yeah you can just get a bit near and you can see it going down and it's a 23 by 23 is quite a lot now let's have a look at this thing here I've got a picture plant a picture plant I've still got a bucket of water yes I have I want to get rid of that how can I get rid of the bucket of water no mm, let's just make a Make a quick hole in the sand here and put it in, put it in there. Now the pitcher plant is basically a plant, and you right-click it with a bucket, and it can't be stacked. It's got to be a single bucket, bucket, and it gives you a bucket of water, like that. Quite neat, isn't it? So that's one water source that you've got as well. Another water source. I'll fill that up with sand. Don't need that. So that was one interesting one, and the other one was the redstone orchid. Which are these? I've run out of fuel again because it takes quite a lot of fuel. It actually takes quite a lot of fuel, those do. Let's quickly go and get some more fuel for that. I'm just using these. A couple of stacks will do, I think. And the redstone orchid, you grow on redstone. So it's not too too early game. And it, excuse me a second. Right. So you get redstone. So what I do is I put into here some mini charcoal and then that will start to harvest that redstone and you've got 64 redstone orchids already so I could make this a lot bigger and as you can see we've got it's already used once it's almost got to, oh actually it's probably getting fed in yes it's getting fed in it's, as it's being used up so those plants should now be harvesting or harvested as you can see So that's another source of redstone for you. Right, let's hopefully that yes now it's aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've lost it hasn't done all of the building. Which is interesting because actually that is much less than twenty-four. Blocks. Okay. But that means that all I have to do then is to build the rest of this when I get into space. That's okay, I don't mind doing that. I was expecting to have to do that anyway. So what I'm going to do now is we should have in here, oh, i it down now. I should have now a satellite chip and a satellite con station container. So we can launch that into space. And in the meantime, I'm going to break down that satellite. So let's do it like this. I want to close afterwards. It may, you know, maybe it's already made this rocket. Yes, it's already made the rocket. Let's shift right click it. Open up the satellite bay and put the chip in. Actually, what I'll do is make a copy of this chip first in the satellite builder. So I need another station ID chip. I wonder if I've got one of those.
Yes, I've got four unprogrammed, so I'll just take one of those. And put that into here. So that's a station two, and this is a station unprogrammed one. And then click the right set to secondary chip, and then that'll come out here. Like that. And I'll put that now safely away in this diamond chest over here. So I've got some, um, no, oh, I've got another unprogrammed one in here. And actually that's space station one. So now I've got a space station two chip and a container. So we just need to launch the container. So just right click this again. That's the satellite bay, put that inside it and let's launch it. It's fueled up, it should just go. And this rocket should return. I'm not quite sure what the rules about returning rockets are, but it seems if you don't break the launching pad or put another rocket on it, it'll, it'll return. It'll return. If you do, then it doesn't return. Yes. Let's have a look at this. So the altitude is going up and the fuel level is coming down. And there should be a little bit of fuel left in this one when it's finished. So what I've now got to do, go and do is to break all of this down and take it with me. But I reckon that was something not six, not 24 by 24. Let's have a look how much is it actually built. So this position is X156, wasn't it? So if I go to this one here, it's 172. This is a second. I'm not sure I can do that on my head. Uh, I think that's 16. So it looks like it's a 16 by 16. It might be. That because this is 23 it then goes back to 16 because it I believe it is 22 by 22 so if I'd taken off a side here and here then it might have or here and here it might have been okay so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to do a quick restore and test if that is the case so I'll see you in a few minutes hello again well I decided yeah I looked at the wiki again and you can do 16 by 16 don't know where I got 22 from because 16 by 16 one chunk which makes a lot more sense so what I need to do now is to build a fueling station because the last thing I haven't done is to build one of these fueling stations for when I actually go and take off the rockets or well, the space station has got one but the rocket itself has I haven't got one for myself now look at end dragon head I've got an end dragon head. next episode for that let's go down here because what I want to do down here so we come a look at here look at the prisoners precision assembler so let's have a quick look at the precision assembler here this device here and if you look at the usage of this by right clicking it you can see what you can make now one of the things you can actually make are these circuits so IO board circuit, circuit IO item IO circuit board, control circuit board, liquid IO circuit board and the other ones. Now if there's a recipe with more than four and there are, like this one for instance, the biome changer remote and the atmosphere analyzer, all you need to do is to have two import ports on the precision assembler and that's it. So like I've got two here. So then you can put and the items in and it doesn't really matter you can have the wrong items in and it'll still build it so let's have a look at what i've got in here i think I, if i'm right i need a silicon plate a chip redstone and a lapis i think are the things i need for this we'll do two like that i'll double check that by the way Yes, yeah, so silicon plate, 
lapis lazuli, basic circuit board and a redstone. So all we need to do is throw those into here like this and that should work as you see very fast in my case because I got this thing souped up with the motors. That was another question actually Mech LSD asked how do I know? Well if you look at the um, the hollow projector here and let's say we've got what have we got here? Precision assembling machine. Right, select that. And you press E on it, and you press Shift, and it tells tells you what you need. So it says you've got one precision assembler, two glass, one machine structure, or output touch, or input, or, or creative power. And you set up to seven of those. And then it tells you what type of motors you can use. And then a machine structure and two copper coils. So you, the only ones you can use are copper coils. But in the motors are quite interesting. So let's go and have a next look at motors. So we've got these different motors. And if you look at that, it says machine motor, machine speed one, advanced motor, one and a half, enhanced motor, two, elite motor, four. So that's like twice as fast as the next one, but it's expensive in terms of titanium. So if you look at the recipe for that, you basically got, you need two coils, so that's 16 titanium ingots. Iridium plates actually are not a problem in this mod pack. So that's how you make that. And that's how I, I didn't figure that out, I figured that out afterwards. Anyway, what I wanted to make was a fueling station, wasn't it? So let's do that one. I think I've now got all the bits for that. Yes, I have, good. And you lose the middle ones because I haven't got any one of those, but that's no big deal. In fact, what I'll do is I'll now put this um, jet. Let's have a look at my inventory. Put that away. I don't need that. Oops. Wrong one. So I think we're ready to go to the space station. So let's go and do that. Funny that I can walk faster than I can fly, but there we are. So what I'm going to do first is to put my space suit on. Like that. Get into here. It's all ready. It's all fueled up, I think. Let's double check it first of all. You can't see, so control O, turn off that. Yes, it's full fueled up, ready to go. Right click it and let's go. Destination space station two. base looks quite impressive from here can I actually do you can't turn around let's press F5 yeah there you are and as we go up so I go back to normal view so as you see I've got some items in my um, space suit I've got some padded boots I haven't bothered with the bionic leg because I don't care about that so much and I've got some um, fog visit an analyzer to tell you the atmosphere so on the bottom left you see the atmosphere breathable yes now we come to the space station which is best space to descent so we should now land on the top of this because we didn't lose the, the docking port and as you can see just below is is uh, I suppose two-thirds or three-quarters of the space station <laughs> on the minimap that is let's see that better if we do f5 Oh yes, here we go. Oh, I had a little game crash as I was landing there, so let's go down. So I should be able to do most of the space station. And if you're wondering how I built this space station, let's have a look. Let's go into here. Press shift and go down. You see we come out here. Now, of course I've only got part of my space station, but I have got this saved. I should have flight because I've still got my angel wings, which is good. And what I did to do this was to do the same thing that Nemson did in his episode, his schematica. So I captured it and then I captured it again. So I think, I'm not sure which button is, I think it's this one. It is. So I have to load a, a, an image first of all. So let's press, a, let's press escape and press the times. No, that's the wrong one. Let's press the divide button. Space Station J. Let's load that up. I simply double click it, just look, click done. And then you can see the space station appearing. Now I've got to move it. 
Because it's going to be in the wrong place. Let's go out a bit further. Okay. So now at this time I press the minus button, I think it is. Move schematic. So then we can move it. Uh, so I'm not sure which way. Yes, that's certainly what, that's going the wrong way. So that looks around about right. Let's go down a bit. Probably need to press escape too. Let's press escape and see where we are. Probably easier to do it from the top, isn't it? That might be better. Let's go minus again. I think it's minus, yes. So let's press the Z button, moves it further forward, that's good. And then we need to move it down. Need one more down, I think, by the looks of it. And let's move it across that way. One more, and then down one more. And then that way, there we go. So that's the now fitting on. So let's press escape. So now I've got all these blue blocks. And I do have, I should have an oxygen bar at the bottom, I do. And it's reasonably full. And I've got some reasonably good tanks as well. So in this chest here, I should have a chest. Let's just, let's come down here. Oh no, I don't have my chest. I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong bit aren't I? I need to be down one oops try that again here we go so I've got a crate in here let's just put into this crate the stuff that I don't need with me at the moment because I'm going to take a lot of stuff out of here fueling station I will put safely away into my backpack here like that in fact I should fuel up the rocket first shouldn't I well before I do that let's see if we can do this so in the in the yellow one here, I've got all the bits I need. So I'm not going to take. I probably haven't got enough space, have I? So let's remove some of the stuff that I don't need for the time being. Which I think is that. So now I should have everything that's needed for this. So let's get the stuff into my hands. So where are we going to start? Let's start with some glass and some um, some tiring. Okay, I shall do this and come back when I've finished doing this. Well, I'm back again. I've rebuilt the space station and died once because I slept in the bed. And he said, no oxygen, and I got a death point. Well, let's just get rid of that. I don't need death points on here, do I? Let's remove that. So, don't sleep in the bed when there's no oxygen. What I'm a bit puzzled about is this is on the O2 scrubber. I wonder if the actual O2 vent needs oxygen in itself. So I've got to find a way to put oxygen in there. So anyway, I put a door in there and remove the other one just in case that was part of the problem, but it doesn't seem to be. In fact, let's go down again because I want to get out of here the stuff that I've, my building materials that I've been using. But before we do that, let's just build something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bio, a biome scanner. And I'm going to put that over here, I think. That's a good place for it. So let's go over here and right click this. You have to put this in the space station, I believe, because I asked the question. So we need a biome scanner. Here we go. And if we have a look at that again, what do we need for that? It's actually not too expensive. One biome scanner, one block of redstone, one motor, and one and 21 blocks of iron. Actually, I've only got 20 blocks of iron. What's happened to the other one? Twenty-one blocks of iron. Did I figure to block of iron? No, I didn't. Let's just make sure we get a block of iron out of the thing. Um You'll notice I've got a 
Oh yes, that's part of the design, which is wrong. So let's put that down, say here. I want to put it here, like that. So we need a block of redstone, and then we need the next level. So we need lots of iron in this particular next level, I think. Can I not get past this? It is quite a large construction this one so anyway we'll, tr we'll do what we've got to says next level enhanced motor elite motor we'll put that in And a, I must be missing something because I've got the, the scanner block here. So let's put the scanner on top of that. What am I missing? Oh yes, I need to go out three more blocks. Mm, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? So when I, it's actually bigger than I thought the space. So what we'll do is remove this out of the way and take that upstairs. I've still got plenty of oxygen. food isn't a problem either. But they didn't check in fact I wonder if it tells me on here. No it doesn't tell you the dimensions on there. I was wondering if I could see the dimensions. Let's go up one floor. Oops, try again. can never get out of the doors. There was a challenge for me. Right. So there should be space down here. What I'm planning to put up here are things like um, an unmanned assembly machine. I think that will do. I'll put it here. Let's start with a block of redstone. Next one. goes in the middle and this goes on top of it and so we can should be able to right click this so now it's actually doing a biome scan and I actually don't know what else it does just that it doesn't seem to need power it just seems to work by itself so maybe over a period of time we will see some biomes in here I'm not even sure whether that's got to have a view of the ground. It looks like it should have a view of the ground, shouldn't it? Doesn't it? Maybe we'll try that because I'm pretty sure this isn't actually working. I'd expect to see a biome by now. So let's remove this again. I'll tell you what we'll do. Yes, we'll just do it there. I'll do this and come back. Well, I built it outside and let's have a look at this. It seems to work. We've got some ocean plains, extreme hills, forest, tiger swamplands, the hell, and the end, and frozen ocean. That's interesting, because I'm sure we've only got desert. Actually, I have actually got some ocean, but we'll look into that in another episode. Let's, get into, let's go back inside. In fact, it's time to go back to base, I think. Oh no, I want to get out before I do that and open this door and just collect my stuff. This is actually another multi-block device, the advanced um, gravity controller, but I don't know how to use that yet. And I've got an ore scanner in here. Why have I got that? Under a, a biome changer. Let's have a look at the bio changer now. If I shift right click this, you can get two different biomes. So obviously that's not used at the moment. Anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm prattling on. Oops. Go back again. 
Now I should be roughly where the space station is. Let's go and get that. And let's just check this is all linked up and ready to go. So it's not got any fuel in it yet. I've got a linker. I should have a linker on me. Yes, I do. So let's quickly link up the fuel here to the rocket. Check the rocket. Fuel is coming up. Wait till it gets ready and then we shall press the spacebar. I don't actually have to wait till it's completely full. So there we go. Let's press space and off we go. So there's my space station. So the biome scanner does definitely need to be able to see outside itself. So, until next time, I'll say bye for now.